Okay, so for today's uh, R is for Roguelike, we're going to be playing Binding of Isaac Rebirth, Afterbirth. Hey, Luis. Glad to see you on the, ch on the chat again. So, it's been a while since I've played Binding of Isaac, so we'll see how this is going to go. I've beaten it quite a bit. I've got all of the most all of the character. I think actually everyone unlocked. Um, since we're playing to win, I'm going to pick uh, Judas or Cain. Judas or Cain. Not going as a Zell. No, because I, I want to try and either do the boss rush or the blue womb, and that short range brim, brimstone just isn't doesn't do it for me. Yeah, you gotta get lucky. I think I'm gonna go with Kane because he starts with a key, so that gets us some better loot at the start. Well, Alright. Alright, so that's that, that's that. Okay, well, let's go right. Alright, so we got a sacrifice room. So how these work, for those who have never played this before, you step on that, you take some damage, there's a chance that a treasure chest spawns. If you have a lot of health, it'll it'll start spawning stuff automatically if you walk over it a ton of times. So we got a couple different enemies in here. The worms will sh shoot at you if you're in their line of sight. And the... I don't remember what those other guys are called. Oh, that's a bad start. Uh, those other guys will spawn little... F will, will spawn little flies. Let's see, what's our first item of the, sh of the run? Bursting sack, spider love. Um... Not a bad choice. So those big fatties will r walk towards you very slowly and occasionally they'll fart and push you away and not... It's a non-damaging fart, but it could potentially knock you into enemies. And we got a bunch of spiders because we're in the cellar. My least favorite enemy of the game. Ooh. We got a trinket called Child Leash. It doesn't do anything for us at the moment, but later on it might help out. These little pustules, depending on their color, will spawn different things. The one here on the right was white, so if it grew to full size, it'll shoot out spiders at you. Not fun. Greens are the explosive acid. Yes, I don't think also green. Not fun. <laughs> I don't think that that one was an exploder. It just happened to be an elite, maybe. Because I think it's a little early to be facing explosive enemies. Anyway, our first boss is Widow. Widow is a giant spider that will spawn a ton of those little pus things. And also step on them. Yes, if you get lucky. Well, Ray, I fairly easy. There we go. The other thing he does on occasion is he'll spit out... Perfect timing, he'll spit out spiders at you. Yes, and I think sometimes he can also shoot tear blood tears at you, but I don't think that's a very common thing. But I may be thinking of one of the elite forms of him. Oh! All right, let's finish this guy off. All right, so our first boss item is Mom's Underwear, which increases the range of our tiers. Typically at the start, your tiers will go about half screen, and now you can see they're going a little bit further than half screen. All right, with that, we'll go down to the next floor of the cellar. Uh, we are running behind schedule for the boss rush. Now what what are the uh, requirements for the boss rush? The boss rush requirements are 20 minutes to oh, beat okay. um, moms to beat mom. Oh. I had only managed to make it appear a handful of times, and even then, only beat it a lesser handful. <laughs> yeah, game sounds disturbing when you're listening and not watching. <laughs> 
Oh, that sounds terrifying, actually. Just the little plop, plop, plops of tears. Oh, there, there's... It's disturbing to play as well. <laughs> yeah. Alright, we got our first sin. The thinly veiled metaphors are really something else. Yeah. So our first one is Gluttony, and Gluttony can shoot out an eight-way shot of blood, of tears, and do that brimstone-like laser beam. Oh, dang it. Well, luckily it's not super gluttony doing the four-way laser beam. This is true. That would be a really great pickup right now. Um, that heart would have given me an extra heart oh, container. Heart. Was that the yum heart? Is that might have been the yum. The... I think that's the regular heart. Okay, In the... either case, it would have been a great item, but we don't have it. Oh, speaking of which, we are currently in the burning cellars, so there's a lot of fire as a environmental ha hazard in this level. Also worth destroying for coins and hearts. Yes. Especially with what? So we have these different colored versions of the headless enemies. They are elites. They take more damage, but they drop specific pickups. So the red ones will always drop a heart. The dark green ones will always explode and drop a bomb pickup. So what we're going to do, actually... Uh, that's three coins. That's not worth it. We're going to clear out this room with a lot of flies. So these regular red flies will float slowly towards you, while the flies that have eyes will shoot tears at you. The ones that are just the ones that are gray will shoot a single tear. The elite ones, like that red one right there, will shoot a two sets of tears at a 45 degree angle at you. So if you stay still, it won't hit you. We got some more chasey enemies that are on fire. Come on. Just die. Please. There we go. Alright, so this black heart is a sort of armor. It'll take damage before you take red heart damage. This one stone here is a different color and has a little X on it, so... We're gonna drop a bomb, run away. It'll blow up and give us the other type of armor heart, which is a regular soul heart. What were you saying, Sam? Sorry. Uh, the black hearts will also explode and do area damage to the room when they're gone. Yes, they have a Necronomicon effect, so they'll damage everyone when you lose it. So let's go into our next treasure room. And we have another one of Mom's items. Mom's bra is a mass fear effect. What it does is it scares all of the enemies in the room away from you. And I believe it even works on bosses. So if we use it now, for instance... Oh, it petrifies them. It doesn't scare them. Never mind. That was a misnomer on the name. It said fear effect. But this is actually a much better pickup. I'd rather them be frozen in place than running away, making it harder for me to hit them. It's funny. I'm about a room or so behind you on the visual. <laughs> <laughs> and we got another... I'm going to save the bomb in case we try and find the secret room. Yeah. Um, I think I see a spot where the secret room can be, so let's go take a look. What do you think in between the shop and the... Oh, that's also a possibility. There's this spot right here between the shop and the other rooms, and then there's also the one that's nearby where we fought Gluttony. Right, that's what I was thinking, between the shop and Gluttony. Let's try that one. And we have two bombs, so if the first one doesn't work, we can try the second one. Um, and you're looking pretty good, so that other black rock in there is super important. It wasn't that one, unfortunately. So let's try this one. I was thinking about the one on that room. And it's just three coins. 
Nothing too fancy. Good looks. Ah, see. <laughs> A room behind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the secret room will always show up with three other rooms adjacent to it. So that's why there were only two real options. This technically would be an option, except for the fact that there are rocks blocking the way. So let's go into the shop. Um, I've certainly seen some with only two rooms adjacent. Those tend to be more end rooms. Yeah, those are much rarer. Um, we have 23 coins, so that's plenty enough to get something. I'm going to pick up another key, and we'll call it for now. So let's go fight the boss. Monstro. Oh god. Small room with the little monstros. Let's petrify and, and try and put some hurt on them. Monstro's typically an easy fight. Two of them in a small room, that is nice. This is so we're gonna try and focus on the one that on one of them. And try not oh good, we got one down. And I don't think that I've caught- I think that I've burned through my yellow heart, or my soul heart at this point. But I don't think I've burned through the devil heart yet. So the pickup we have here is stem cells. So that'll give us an HP boost that we still can't see. And because we didn't take any red heart damage on this floor, we get access to the devil room. Ooh. Uh, so... So the devil room for two hearts we can get the pact. And that is definitely worth taking. Three reds now. So I'm gonna take the pact. And that increases our damage, our tears up, and it gives us a soul heart to replace one of the hearts we lost temporarily. So yeah, we should be at one Go red heart. Glory. One red heart, one black heart, and a soul heart? Soul. Oh, two soul hearts. We're doing much better than I thought. Alright, so we got a... This room is a battle room. Or an arena room. We can open the chest and fight a bunch of enemies. So let's do that. Alright, let's... Let's stop playing bad and like start paying attention to what we're doing. Alright, these enemies will regen if you don't kill them. What happens is they'll die and form a little pool of meat, and if you don't damage the pool of meat enough, they'll eventually resurrect with a small amount of health and come back at you. Yes. And these little mini chubs will, if they get perpendicular to you, will charge at you. They're also pretty easy to deal with if you're dealing with just them on their own. Find the mini chubs and the red chasers, and we're looking for trouble. <laughs> yep. And we're already at our second of the seven deadly sins. We're up against Envy. Envy, when you deal well, when you playing asteroids. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that was exactly what I was gonna get at. As you damage it enough, it'll split into two smaller forms with less health, and this continues until you get to these little ones, which you can then finally kill off. It seems to get less angry as you go. Yeah. Well, the middle phase looks a little madder, but those little guys... Just they're, 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 they're just chilling. The way to deal with envy is to focus in on one head at a time. Don't create a bunch of little guys or you'll, let, or you'll get swarmed and die. Absolutely. This room was just a little shooting gallery with some worms that wandered aimlessly. Not really a threat. Ooh, uh, I forgot what these guys are called, but they are invulnerable until they lift their head up to shoot at you. A little joystick wiggle usually fixes that. Do, 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 do. I find a nice little left, right, left, right, and I'm gonna get them popping right up. Yes. And we get a dime for our troubles. So we are looking good for money if we find the shop on this floor. Or when we find the shop on this floor. Alright, so in this room we have um, some hosts. And hosts, depending on their color, can hold a variety of different things. 
the ones in the corners of the room held flies. The ones that are wandering around have black worms, which are similar to regular worms, except that they, when they die, they shoot out a four-way burst. So positioning when dealing with them is very important. Especially because they charge on the perpendicular where you're safest from the burst. Yes. All right, and in this room we have some poison fat guys, and we have our first pill. So pills, because this is a roguelike game, have a random effect, and we won't know what it is until we try it. I'm going to wait till we get into a room with enemies before activating it, though. Uh, what is that? That's a zodiac sign? I don't remember which one it is, though. Gemini? Uh, Gemini. Yes. All right. Um, yeah, let's get Gemini. So we took a full heart of damage in order to get Gemini a conjoined twin. So this little guy will attack any enemies that get close to us. Oh, this room is just mean. You'll see it in a second, and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So. Oh yeah, the tempting golden poops. Yeah, two golden poops just out of reach. The next room held uh, a gish. A large amount of coins if you uh, were able to get to them golden poops. Yes. There's the shot. And we have the map for sale. Which, although it does not reveal the secret room, it does reveal the map of the floor. Which makes it much easier for us to pick and choose where we want to go. So like... Yep, we picked up the soul heart to get us back some armor. And we have one room left to check out. And let's try out our pill. Oh no, the pill is paralysis. Oh no. <laughs> Fortunately, these are stupid worms and not dangerous worms, so we're safe. I was just thinking the same thing. <laughs> um, so this... Oh, we don't have any bombs, never mind. That room that we were just standing in could have been a candidate for the secret room. And it looks like it is the most likely one, but we don't have any bombs, and I don't think there were any for sale. Nope, no bombs for sale. So, we just gotta go fight. not had to worry about taking damage for Gemini if you'd have bombs. This is true. I would I would have used the bomb for that. Anywho, our next boss is the Stain. So the stain can dig underground and will either shoot its tentacles out at you like it's doing right now, or it will eventually show its other ability if Gemini doesn't murder it first. It can spawn worms. And here's the other ability. It can go into bullet hell mode and just shoot out a large cluster of tears at you. The first wave of tears it throws at you will slow down as it gets further away from it, while the second wave will get faster as it goes away from it. The poop on the sides here ah, is damaging poop. If you touch it, you will take damage, and it respawns after a while. Pageant Boy spawned, I believe, eight random coins. Eight random coins. And they could be... And gives you a nice little hat. Yeah, nice little hat. <laughs> That's the other nice thing about Binding of Isaac. All of the pickups we've been getting are all being worn by Isaac now at this point. We've got our underwear on, we've got our stem cells, and we've got our nice little hat. Something to put on the stem cells. Yes. And now that we're more than one floor behind, I don't think boss rush is happening this run. No, I'm just, I'm just... especially not uh, clearing most rooms and... And, talk, and taking the time to talk about everything. Yeah. Alright, we've got another sin. The boss that we just fought was Wrath, which is essentially playing a game of Bomberman. If Envy was Asteroids, Wrath is Bomberman. Absolutely. <laughs> So the nice thing about Gemini is that Gemini can act, can hit through walls and stuff, so I can go into hiding and Gemini will rush at the enemy. 
And we've picked up another pill. Um, hmm. This room would require two keys to open, so we'll come back to it later. There's a lot of money in the middle of this room, but I don't want to deal with spikes. Yes. And based on the icon, it looks like it's a shop of some sort, so it might be a library. Oh, right, because we only have one red heart, we can enter the boss rush room. So the boss rush room usually has a lot of treasure, like in this case it's got four gold chests. So we would burn through all of our keys, but we would get a lot of treasure. Saving one for the... I would want to save two because we have enough money for the shop as well, so... We'll open just the ones that we can easily access. Oh, we got a key from that one anyways. Uh, let's see what we get with this pill. Friends till the end, we got a couple of suicide flies. Ow. And this enemy will jump up and down, and because it's an elite version, it is also spawning those um, tremors, which helped us out actually a lot. It destroyed the rocks protecting the other chest, so we can pick those up if we get more keys. Yeah. And he's also shooting out little dips, which are the little poop guys. And also inhaling and breathing. <laughs> yes, he, he has a... Mega Fatty has a ah, lot of skills. So that's the first... First boss. So with the boss rush, you face two bosses. This version of this elite is shooting out spiders, which is not fun to deal with. I think you said earlier that spiders are one of your least favorite enemies. Yeah. They have no idea what they want to do at any given point in time. So we have five keys, so we can open up all three of these. Uh, I think it was because it was the elite version, so he was spitting out spiders instead. Because spiders is not his normal thing. So let's open up these chests and see what we get. Oh, we got Tammy's head, which is a good replacement for Mom's bra. And we got the Ace of Spades, which means that rather than pills, we're going to get tarot card drops more often. Oh, and since this pill we know is paralysis, I'm just going to use it and get it out of the way. Um, this other room is not a shop or anything of interest, so we're just going to skip it. And we got some bomb flies in this room. The blue bomb flies will explode and shoot out a four-way shot, whereas the black ones will just explode. And we have our first tarot card, the tower. So the tower, I'll demonstrate in this room, generates a lot of bombs in the room. It is... It is high risk, high reward, because you never know how the bombs are going to land. And in this room we have both the shop and the treasure room, so let's see what we have in the treasure room. Um, we have the glowing hourglass, which turns back time, so if you did a room bad, you could restart to the start of the room and try again. I prefer Tammy's head, especially if we start getting some good tier effects. Agreed. And I'll show off Tammy's head in the next enemy room. And in the shop we have Ooh. Uh, the one one room recharge. Might as well use it once a room. Yes. Um This pill is probably paralysis, so I'm not gonna take that. This trinket here on the left is the deck of cards, so it allows for you to hold two car tarot cards. But because we already have the ace of spades. Ah, it would override it. So we'll just take the tarot card. Uh, the Hermit. Um, right to the shop you're already in. <laughs> brings you right to the shop. The nice thing is that you don't have to use a key, so we can use that next floor to just get, teleport straight to the shop and see if we can find anything good. Uh, do you have a key for sale in there? 
Uh, I don't remember there being a key. We'll go back and check. Oh, Tammy's head. So if you use Tammy's head, you fire an eight-way shot of tears. And those were actually pretty giant tears, so... I'm wondering if I have a tear effect that I don't know about. Uh, there was no keys. There was a bomb, but we have seven at this point, so I think we're pretty golden for bombs for the moment. But yeah, Tammy's head has a one-room recharge, which is really nice. And it mimics whatever tear effects you have. So say you had brimstone or something that shoots at the laser, you'd get an eight-way laser beam. Uh, the sack in the middle room drops one to three items. We got a key and we got another tower card. I'm gonna keep the hermit. Yeah. It's not worth the gamble for. Oops. Yes. <laughs> Actually. I'm gonna go back and grab the tower. Cause we're about to fight a boss. The secret room. Ah, there you go. And then run back after. Yeah. Uh, let's see about the secret room. So I see two possible spots. Let's go check those out right quick, and then come back for the boss. So this room is a possibility. Right here. This is a spot, a potential spot. And then this room would be a possibility, except we can't actually access the wall. So by process of elimination, that means it must be... Oh, went too far. This room? Question mark. Yes. Success. And for our trouble, we get a pile of poop. The corny poop will have a fly circling around it once you destroy the poop. Actually, I wonder if this works like in the old Binding of Isaac. It does. So rather than spend the two keys to get into this other room, because it was connected to the secret room, we can just use the bomb. And it had three treasure chests. So our bomb stocks are increased even further. We have the Chariot and Strength. I was originally going to bring the Tower. Some nice and vulnerability with charge, some good damage there. Yes. Strength will give you a temporary heart container as well as increased damage. Between these ones, I think the Chariot is the best one to bring into the boss fight. Yes, that is a boss killer. Especially since we have all of these soul hearts. The extra heart container is not actually going to help us in the fight. Um, I never bothered looking for the top secret room, but I try not to waste the frail. This is a boss I've not fought before. Ah, it's a lot like the uh, pin, the worm. Okay. when you get him down to a certain health forms. Oh, yep. He just skeletoned at me. So now it's time to chariot. Let's just run into him a lot. And kill him. Because that's how we roll. Good old chariot. Now, I was about to run out and get the, the card, but that would have been a big mistake because we got another devil room. So we picked up Speedball, which gives us speed and shot speed up. And the Devil Room has a Krampus fight. Ah. Krampus loves his brimstone. Yes, and he's got a four-way brimstone that now... In this version of the, in Afterbirth, he can occasionally have it spin in all directions if he so chooses. Awesome. So the pickup that he gets, you can get one of two pickups from him. You can get Krampus's head, which is his four-way uh, brimstone shot, or the one that we got, the lump of coal. So the further away the shots get from you, the bigger they get. And the bigger a tier is, the more damage it does. 
So that is a great pickup for playing sort of keep away fighting, which is pretty much the only way you should ever be playing Binding of Isaac. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. They say do damage. <laughs> yes. We are past the 20 minute mark, so we are definitely not fighting the boss rush in this run. But we can use the Hermit to just quickly go to the shop and see what we have. And boy, what a selection it is. Let's start with this one on the left. For 15 cents, we can pick up Steam Sale, or Steamy Sale now, which makes everything half off. We can now buy another key, as well as this playing card, the Two of Diamonds, which will double our coins. It's a shame that we just spent all of our money, but if we get a lot of money back for whatever reason, like this room that has a bunch of greed in it and a gold. You could always steal from the donation box. I could. That, uh, that hard charge can be very nice sometimes. We got 11 coins though, so we can just go back and buy it now. But. Replace your damage. This is true. James head is nice. And I guess the one thing is we only have the one heart container, so picking up spare red hearts isn't really going to help us much. Right. So I think we'll hold on to Tammy's head. Go for broke. As I rush in there and throw off Tammy's head with everything clustered together. <laughs> so these blue flames are eternal flames. They can't be killed by tears, but you can bomb them. And if you bomb them, they have a chance of dropping a soul heart. It's not a very big chance, but it is a chance. And with ten bombs, it might not hurt. Yeah, we're, we got plenty of bombs. So these blue skeletons will throw three bones at you. And they also explode when they die. So they are bad news bears. Um, one thing that we did not find at this point is the treasure room, so we're going to go look for that. We found the boss, which is great. We don't have to deal with trying to find the boss. Having that treasure room is very important. And fortunately for us, it's very close to the boss room, so we don't have to run, a run too much. Oh, that was the best bomb ever. Um, so that bomb both opened up the treasure chest and luckily and gave the us secret the secret room <laughs> where we can beat up greed. Hey, and utterly trash root greed. Because Tammy's head is great. So that's our fourth deadly sin out of seven. And let's just see what this pill does. It was a bad gas pill, which means that it will shoot out poisonous gas. Thanks for joining the chat, Luis. I will see you next time. Take care. And our treasure this time could be um, Deadfly, which is Blue Baby's best friend. I'm not a huge fan of that, so what we'll do is we'll bomb this box here, and it'll change it to something else. Like the Tough Love, which makes... Our shots randomly a tooth, which deals much higher damage. And because that stacks with Tammy's head, Tammy's head also has a chance of shooting teeth now. Well, since we found the secret room already and the treasure room, let's just go fight the boss. Our boss is the adversary, which is not a good opponent for me. Spiders, explodey stuff, and brimstone effects all make for a bad combination. It's actually good to stay close to him because of the fact that his brimstone curves. So if you stay close to him, you can quickly dodge around and avoid the brimstone effect. Yes. And the spiders, at this point, they're just spiders. 
they're just annoying now. And I believe this is experimental treatment. All our stats are up and then shuffled. So we've got a lot of range and a lot of attacks still. So I think we're fine. Up next is the Necropolis 2. Let's go up first. Oh, this is not a good room. I don't like this room. These are my least favorite enemy. Can't wait to see. Ah, yeah, those can be very unfun considering the kind of room layout. Yeah, this room layout wasn't terrible. I still took a hit. But having Gemini actually made it a lot easier to deal with the hearts. Absolutely. And we got... Oh, this is probably an even worse layout. Oh, goodness. We got a lot of the running, puking, exploding enemies. And I just got destroyed. That is trouble. I, I lost all of my soul hearts, pretty much. Oh, Oh, and in this room, we've got some nice of Mom's hands. Yes. Also, a very scary enemy. The audio cues are nice. You yes. Know how many you're gonna draw. Yeah, fortunately, there was only one. Uh, uh, Mom's hand. Yeah. So that last room isn't ending in anything interesting, so we're gonna go back to the center and go down one. Oh, we got our wall, f our wall friends that shoot out brimstone lasers. And we have a damage room. We could take half a heart of damage to go in there. It is totally not worth it for us, so we're not going to do it. Are definitely high risk. Oh, this is... So these guys will... Not trigger? Uh-oh. Welp. Shit. I think this looks like damage. Yep. So we're just gonna bomb the door and pass through. Absolutely worth doing. Cause I don't think there was a way we were gonna walk away from that without taking a full heart of damage, which is all the health we have left. But we found a slot machine. Oh, I should use my two of diamonds to double my coins first. Slot machine has a random chance of spawning coins, hearts, Bomb all so all sorts of goodies. Let's see if we get anything good. Put enough money into it. Hopefully, it explodes with a permanent upgrade. Yes. Right, we got a heart that we can't use. We got a. We got an orbital fly out of it. Which is good. That will block some shots, tear shots from us, which will hopefully help us live a little bit longer. Yeah, more of them. yeah if we get two more, if we get one or two more, we're in business. Come on, baby. Uh, another bomb. A lot of hearts. A lot of hearts. Uh, what I wouldn't give for a, I think D10 right now. <laughs> now we got another key. Is that the reshuffle all items on the floor? Yes. Oh, I think one of the dice does it. I don't remember which one. I know it's not the D6. Right, all the or all the, all the permanent health pickups, right? Yeah. Ooh, we got friends to the end again, so we got some kamikaze flies. Um... I think it's about time to stop trying. Because we might find something useful in the shop. Ah, uh, one more won't hurt. Ah, <laughs> uh, one more won't hurt. <laughs> Especially when they keep dropping them. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Alright, let's blow this up and... Ooh. Two of spades. Uh, I believe this doubles your bombs. Two uh, nope. Spades. Keys. Yep, yeah, it was keys. Alright, so that looks like up is going to lead to the boss. So let's go in the other direction. Of course, I'm going to have to rebomb my way through here again. 
Unfortunately, we have a ton of bombs, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, and this giant guy will just spawn flies. Um. Hmm. We'll blow up the treasure chest here. Oh, and hey, we got the secret room. <laughs> I'm having the best luck right now with all of this. And it's another three coins. And a nickel in the flames. Not bad. But you're wishing you didn't blow up that slot machine now. <laughs> oh, yeah, a little bit. So these black guys are even more obnoxious than the red ones because when they die, they spawn a spider. But because they can regen, they will continuously spawn spiders until you completely kill them. We got another bomb. Another bomb, and we got the treasure room, which has another zodiac sign, Sagittarius, which gives us a piercing shot. So this will be good for dealing with large amounts of enemies. Alright, I'm going to let Gemini do some work here because this room is not a good room to fight skeletons. Those are probably my second least favorite. Yeah, I, I actually prefer the black skeletons to the white ones because at least you can get a little retrieve from dealing with them. Yep. Nice troll bomb coming out of the chest. Yep. Uh, ooh. And life just got great. I'm at the shop, and we have the 9 volt. So how the 9 volt works... Let's see if it work, the demonstration will work. It did not work. Dang it. Uh, maybe the 9 volt doesn't work the way... It, no, I'm, am I thinking of the 9 volt, or am I thinking of a different pickup? The uh, power recharge, you're thinking? Yes. Um, I must be thinking... This one will help 9 volt gives you an extra charge I think when you clear the room no that's not that doesn't sound right either way the 9 volts not doing what I wanted it to do so uh, oh the 9 volt means that it I don't remember oh you're right it, it is doing it Okay, so just because I tried it in a different room. So Tammy's head now, instead of taking one room to clear, will recharge slowly over time. Yes, so when it, so how 9-volt works, now I'm remembering. Like you just said, once it... Once you use an item, it gives you back a charge of the item used. Because Tammy's char Tammy said is a one room charge item, it instead will slowly regenerate, so after like five seconds or so it comes back. No, heaven or heaven or hell. Um uh, I've cleared everywhere pretty much with him, so let's go up. Up sounds good. Whichever you think you got a better chance with. <laughs> I don't think I really have good chances with either, to be honest. <laughs> I probably might have actually had better chances facing off against Satan and the Lamb. Right. Because Isaac That's and true. Isaac and Blue Baby are fierce. Yes. But the bullet hell there is real. <laughs> but now we are in the womb, which means we are starting to take a full heart of damage. Which means that we are now at the point where we will die if we get touched. So, so this is true. We have one. We have one reprieve. But then once we lose that soul heart, we're toast. You're not gonna lose that soul heart. You're right. And why am I not using Tammy's head all the time? Oh, I just lost the soul heart. <laughs> we cursed it. We cursed got a dime poop. for our troubles, though. Oh, no. Poop or something else. So this room had some flies that when they died, 
they stars stars star, stars is useless to us now so we're going to drop that uh, stars would typically teleport you to the treasure room, but because we're in the womb, there are no more treasure rooms. Fortunately, we we found the boss already, and we got a soul heart, so we have one we have one hit of armor. All right, let's go fight the boss because yeah. Without that soul heart, I might have said find the shop. Uh, there are no more shops because we're in the womb. Otherwise, that would definitely be the best option. But we are facing Conquest, which is one of the four riders of the apocalypse. And we trashed him. <laughs> because Tammy's head is the best. <laughs> yeah, it is seriously a good find. Um, so what happened there well is... Done. Well done. <laughs> is Conquest how con... Ooh... We, we're saying that we're going big or going home, right? I've, uh, I've lived by that motto at times. Alright, so in the Devil Room, I'm going to pick up Abaddon, which will give, get rid of our last red heart, but give us six black hearts. So we have no way of recovering health anymore, but because we're past, the, we're at the point where we're taking a full heart of damage, we can't heal anyway, so it doesn't even matter. Point of no return, man. <laughs> yeah, go big or go home. Um, but ha what happened is when Conquest charges at you, Conquest spawns itself, multiple copies of itself. All of them are susceptible to damage, so Tammy's head plus Sagittarius meant that a lot of damage just got dealt. Um, let's see what's inside here. We have the keys to spare. Ooh, a treasure chest um, with the ringworm, which is not particularly useful to us, so we're just going to keep Ace of Spades. I demoed it. It shoots a spiral shot. It's not the greatest thing, but it does the job. It works really well if you have larger tiers than what we have right now. Okay, we don't have to be in here, so I'm just going to bomb back out. Screw that noise. So this is the perk of the oh, yeah. this is the perk of the treasure map, because we know that the boss has to be at, at the end of one of these hallways. If we don't like the room, we can just bomb out and not have to deal with it. And nine bobs gives you some options. Yes. We should probably save some for later on because the enemies that we start dealing with later are going to be much fiercer than here. But that was that was four yeah, brains. That was, that, that was a nightmare. That was not worth fighting. We got when those drop. They spawn the other guys that spin around the room. Yep, yeah, which are even more obnoxious. Yes. All right. Um, double greed. Yeah. Double wrath, right? Double wrath, yeah. Wow. Right, Tammy's head. I'm surprised you've seen him twice now. Yeah, he's spawned much more often than I'm used to him seeing, or used to seeing him before we get to like the end game. End game. I'm surprised you've seen him twice in a row. Yes. Twice as a regular type of boss enemy. Um, so that super troll bomb was homing after us, but we used the metal pillars as cover. And Tammy said it's going to continue to mutilate, so we're going to remember to use it at all times. Pond room entry, almost. <laughs> yes. So the two enemies that were in that room we just faced was a brain and a... Oh, I don't remember the other enemy, but when he dies, he forms little balls that'll circle around. Oh, Jesus. We'll come back to our discussion in a second. <laughs> that room had four chubbies oh! and two mini gluttonies. <laughs> yeah, that, those guys are uh, scary. That was, And it was a narrow Very room, too, scary. so there was no room to run. That was the epitome of bad news. Yes. Terrible room, though. followed by a really quite gentle room, actually. Yes. The white skulls aren't so bad. So you have to kill yeah. Else in the room and avoid their fairly predictable pattern. Yeah, and the enemies were only the little tentacle things. So this is a red chest. Just bounce around like a whole lot of old DVD screensavers. Yes. <laughs> So red chests have a chance of teleporting you to the devil room, dropping a soul heart, or dropping spiders or bombs. We had bad luck, so it dropped um, spiders. spiders. 
<laughs> and Tammy's head, once again, just utterly trashes everything. Oh, yeah. Oh, so much money. And one of them was a luck up. Um, you know what? I'm feeling lucky, so we're going to plant a bomb here and see if this is the top secret room. And it is. And it's got a fortune telling machine. Even better. Uh, so, something to use that money on. we're going to throw all of our money at this. In hopes that... Tarot, soul, and funny sayings, right? Tarot, soul, trinkets, oh, and funny sayings. Right, okay. And right now we're doing it for trinkets and soul hearts. Nice joker card. That brings you right to a devil room, doesn't it? Yes. Oh, this is... This is okay, I guess. So the crystal ball, you can use it and it gives you a... S soul heart and it reveals the entire map as if you had the treasure room with secret rooms included. with secret rooms involved so we're going to go back for that secret room now but the f but that um fortune ball uh crystal ball is not worth keeping compared to tammy's head yeah far too many charges and you're still to the end i mean tammy's head <laughs> yeah <laughs> come on tammy's head is kind of like yeah, nothing really, very few things compete with Tammy's head. Yes, it is terribly overpowered with the right rolls. <laughs> yeah, and I would say that we've only been getting mediocre rolls so far. Tammy's head I, is I'd not say. even closely broken. So we have the Joker card, but I'm going to save that. Because this is Mom's heart. Which means that I believe that it's just a room down as opposed to actually being a treasure room. I can't remember, though. Ah, ah. And if we do get a devil's room and we ignore it, we can get a chance later on of getting a angel room. Now, I thought that since you've already made devil deals, you locked up. Um, how it works is once you refuse a deal with the devil, you have a chance of the next room being a... Um, angel room, if I remember correctly. That was the rules that it used to be. Wait, why am I not using Tammy's head? Alright, so we're at the point where... We got his lips instead of mom's heart. Oh right, and because we picked up the Polaroid. Each time we take, a da take damage at this point, we will get a shield for a couple seconds. Alright, so it is a devil room. Um, we get two black hearts, which is nice. Oh, that is the mark. That's a good pickup, too. Hmm. Is it worth three of these, though? We just got two. And we did get, get that other one from the fortune teller's heart, so I think it's worth it. And you didn't take any damage on this floor. Yeah. And we have Tammy's head, so yes, it's a good choice. Cool. Oh, hello. I just got a transformation into Leviathan. Ah. So that made it even more worth it, because now I can fly. Was there anything worth picking up? Oh, I haven't seen this transformation. Yeah, that's neither cool. neither have I. So, I'm guessing it's because we picked up Abaddon, the Mark, and the Pact. Yeah, that sounds about right. But anywho, now we're ready to roll. Oh yeah, Tammy's head with flying. Let's hide behind cover and destroy everything. <laughs> yes. All right. So because flying we're trying to play, because we're trying to play smart now. None of these rooms lead to the boss, so we can just go up and ignore all of them. We got two, um, gluttony? Not gluttony. Uh, not greed. Uh, sloth. Sloth. Ah, yes. And sloth. And these are all boss rooms now, right? Yeah, they're pretty much all boss rooms at this point. Uh, let's try for some... Oh, first room's the secret room, of course. Oh, dear. But this is this is Super Greed. <laughs> Never mind, Super Greed's a chump. And, of course, we find the moon, which leads us to the secret room that we're already in. So that is 
useless. Or maybe another like the last one. Oh, right. The, uh, it leads us to the regular secret room, not the top secret room. Uh, but it might be useful in the chest, so I'm going to burn the Joker now. Joker. Oh, neither of those are worth picking up. Those are both garbage, so we're just going to leave. Um, the shovel is we need to go deeper, which will lead you to a floor lower. We're on the second to last floor, so it doesn't matter. And the nail will give you a soul heart and let you stomp. But it has a six room recharge, so it is not worth it in the slightest. Not even close. So we have three headless horsemen, and gotta remember to use Tammy's head. I took a hit, but because it was a black heart, we got the. Ooh, a new pill. Let's see what this does in the next room. Again, small shirt. Oh, speed down. That was a bad one. <laughs> Uh, what was I talking about? <laughs> oh, I let I let Monster Two just jump on my head. That was terrible of me. I gotta remember to to actually juke and jive. I'm getting complacent now that I'm got like super damage output. Yep. Oh, hey, That'll another mi another mystery pill. Uh, let's. Let's just use it. Luck down. Oh. The pills. Not having good pill luck this round. No, we had paralysis. We had uh, speed, speed down. Speed down, luck down, and you did have those flies, but I mean, yeah, all the things that can come in pills. Like flies are pretty low on that positivity list. Yeah, and why? Are, wait, I'm playing as Kane, right? Yeah. Oh no, that doesn't apply to pills. Never mind. No, no, it just uh, applies to drop rate, I believe. Yeah. Oh, hey, another pill. Okay, their speed up is in the loop as well, so we're back to our right. speed from earlier. <laughs> your original speed. Leviathan's nice for avoiding spikes. Yes, I didn't even realize that there were spikes there. I just went for it. Because yeah. Leviathan just does not care. Flying would have been nice in some rooms with pits for a time. Or in that uh, room that... Cathedral. I was going to say, it would have been in super helpful in that room that had the two um, gold poops. Yep. Or any of those really bad room rolls with all those enemies. Yep. Uh, that's not a, a cross mark, so we'll keep going. We found the boss room, and of course, it's the last room, because that's how roguelikes work. And Gertie was a chump because we have a fear effect now. I think that must come from Leviathan. Got it. Alright, let's go take on Isaac. And this works out great because we also have um, coal, which means that we want to be as far away from him as possible while attacking. Yep, which we're going to start getting to now. <laughs> so this move... Oh, I got hit by it still. But we are at the point where he is flying at us. Oh, took another hit from it. On the plus side, we prevailed. Um, we have three black hearts to take on the chest. This is not looking great for our party, but definitely not great. But we can we can we can prevail. This first room will help out a lot. These four chests should all have pickups in them. Uh, monster manual garbage. Crack the sky garbage. Chocolate milk. 
So this gold door is new to Afterbirth. If you have two keys, you can go challenge Mega Satan. And that is a fun that is a fun fight. But you can only get the keys from angel rooms. Okay, so uh, this out of all of all out of all of those, the only one that was worth picking up was the poop bums. Because the top two are usable items, which means that they would get rid of Tammy's head, and chocolate milk is not good. Chocolate milk turns your shot into a charge shot. Which is pretty much the one thing we don't want right now. Because our shots are fast and highly damaging. But I took a hit in the first room, which does not bode well for our survival in the rest of these rooms. Oh, there's two of them. But the stains were pretty easy to deal with. Uh, let's see if our luck is still keeping on going for secret rooms. It is holding. So we got a treasure chest. Oh, I'm gonna deal with the other things so you can bask in glory at what we just found in the treasure chest. Oh, yeah. So all those garbage <laughs> items earlier. Yep, those are getting rerolled. <laughs> And this is a perfect room to have Sagittarius and Tammy. Oh, crap. I only have one hit left in me. We may not live to see the... As long as you can get another head off, you might be okay. I was able to get another head off. Yeah, Gemini is not helping matters at the moment. Hey! Another pickup. We got Shoop the Whoop, which fires our laser. It's not a very good pickup compared to Tammy. Oh, what were you saying? Nope, same thing. Not ah. a very good pickup compared to Tammy. But the D6, this is a great pickup for right now. We're going to go back to that first room that had those three garbage items. Use the D6, and... Oh... First up, we got the Rosary, which gives us three soul hearts to start, which is much needed health at this point. We got the Inner Eye, which gives us a triple shot. And we got Scorpio, which gives us a chance of poison tears with our triple shot. Most of these will stack with Tammy's head. So I think we are in very good shape now. We're actually going to use this room to bomb... Six was a game changer. Yes. We're actually going to use the, a bomb in the secret room to go up, because there's a chance that we might be able to find the boss right away. Nope. We got two of these chumps. We're going to just focus on one of them. And utterly wreck him. Ah, oh, the triple shot is so good. Triple piercing, too. Triple piercing. Yeah, oh, dear. We got two of the... Not the fallen, not the adversary. Oh, took a hit. What is his name? He's not the fallen and he's not the adversary. Is it the dark one? Yes, the dark one. Oh, we got three little babies. Or three blue babies. The flat penny, which... I believe gives you a key. 50% chance of a key when you pick up a coin. Not that useful to us. Uh, let's keep going. I think it's... Yeah, it's either key when you get a coin or coins when you get keys. I think it's the... I think it's key when and you get coin, because the burnt penny is bomb when you get a coin. Right, right, okay. So this room has three deadly sins. 
including our first introduction to Lust, who will pretty much just chase after you. Yeah, Lust is normally not a threat at all, but with two other enemies, Lust gets kind of dangerous. And the third wrath roll this one, that is unbelievable. Yes. So this item here is Mr. Boom. He drops a giant bomb, and it's a reusable bomb, but again, same thing we've been saying this entire run. We have Tammy's head, we don't really need anything else. Alright, so in this room we've got um, the Fallen and somebody else whose name I can't remember at the moment. But I'm more interested in just destroying the Fallen, like, utterly. I think that might be the the dark one was I think this guy might have been the dark one. I think you're right. Then what's the other we got in this next room we've got two um of the horsemen. We have war and famine, I believe was the other one. So we've seen three out of the five horsemen as well this run. Uh, let's go down. Oh boy. Another room with lust and a gluttony. But we have three hits going into the boss fight. We found the top secret room, so we might have more than three hits. Oh dear. This is a equivalent of the I am error room, but it, oh, I don't remember which technology that is, so we're not picking it up. I might have eyes on it. Let's see. I believe that's technology two. Yes, if that's tech two, then we don't want it because that will make us unable to use our tears. Because Kane can only fire out of one eye. So if you cover up that one eye with technology, he can't fire tears anymore. The other thing we picked up was the Bible, which gives us temporary flight, which is useless because we're a flying Lovecraftian horror. And it can also kill mom in one shot. It can also one shot mom. And it can one shot it lives as well, I believe. Ah. But if you use it against Satan, you die instantly. And if you use it against <laughs> Isaac, you die instantly. <laughs> We also picked no. <laughs> yes. We also picked up the Devil Tarot card, which acts as a Book of Belial, which means damage boost, which means fun. Damaging Tammy's head. Yes. So let's go fight Blue Baby. I mean, more damaging. <laughs> yes. The Devil. Sixty coins at the end of this run. Wow. So much money. So much. It would have been, yeah, it would have been nice to find a donation box, but... Alright, we're to phase two already, which is good. We got another use of Tammy's head, so let's get in. So the one thing I don't like about Blue Baby is that he teleports instantly as his ability. Which makes it a little harder to deal with him compared to Isaac. Oh, I messed with Tammy's head. But, mission success. Excellent. Good run. Very good. Very good. Uh huh. We got two hits left. Let's go clear out some rooms. Yeah. Because I have nothing left to unlock with the cane. And we got two little poops. Oh, we just took a hit. Already. That's garbage. If this winds up being what kills me, I'm going to be very sad. <laughs> Alright, that room didn't have anything interesting. Um, this room looks promising. Ooh, two mega fatties. And we prevail. 
So that was a new move that the Mega Fatty did that the other one didn't. He'll swallow up and then spit out a spray of poop. That follows your position. Um, yeah. So if you're not careful, you'll take contact damage. Ooh. We got two um, chads. Which are a giant chub. But they are chumps. More so than most. Yes. Yeah, the red one... Oh, let's not go in that room. Oh, we gotta go in that room. Well, we may die to spikes. We didn't die to spikes. If we had that speed down still from earlier, we probably would have died from spikes. Yeah. This room... Ooh. Two Mega Wraths. So Mega Wraths oh, drop troll bombs. But... By themselves, they are pretty much not much of a threat. Let's see what else we got. Let's go back this way. Oh crap! I'm not very good at dealing with the bloat. This may be the end of the run. We died because I don't know how to deal with the bloat. Yeah, that's like some extra peak right there. But yeah. You finished the run as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, we killed Blue Baby. How are we doing on time? At the end cutscene, no big deal. It is 10:15. That was a good hour 15 minute run. Yeah. I'm well I'm thinking. Well. I'm I'm thinking that it, it might be good to just call it here. Call it while we're out ahead. Hey, you won't hear me complaining. So, next week I'll be out of town, so I won't be doing a stream. But the week after, you want to do risk for, risk of rain? I'm in. All right, I'll send you a message. Thanks to anyone who was watching the stream, Luis, others. If you popped in and I didn't notice, and two weeks. On YouTube catching this later. Yes. Two weeks from now, we'll be doing another stream, and we'll be doing some co-op roguelike for once. Alright, thank you again, Sam, for co-commentating. No problem, buddy. Happy to be here. And I will talk to you all later. Good night.